Hello there, welcome back to the kitchen table. First of all, I apologize about the sound of my voice. As you can tell, I'm not feeling particularly well. I'm feeling fine from the neck down, but from the neck up, it's a world of hurt. So it's a glorious sunny day, the first for ages, and I'm just, I've been out walking the dog and it's cold and I've, no, I'm just gonna sit here with something medicinal. Um, I, I don't mean it's whiskey, it's very early in the morning here, but I mean, you know, a hot lemon paracetamol beverage. Um, so I'm just going to do a brief update because look, look what came in the post. It's my Rotopixel gimbal. Pause for comic timing. Those of you who follow phantompilots.com and the Rotopixel gimbal wait. Sorry, that was a bad joke. It's not my Rotopixel gimbal. Daisy, shush. I apologise. The dog is, you know, I'm not paying it any attention. But what I did get in the post uh, was from, uh, I mentioned it in my last sort of um, update. I have got my kit from... Horizon FPV. I can't leave it like that. That's far too, far too inappropriate. So um, I just thought I'd do a quick sort of, um, not really an unboxing. I've already unboxed it, but just a, a little look at what we're getting in the kit. This is the, this is the sort of standard, if you like. They do an extreme kit now. This is the standard kit. Now um, I had a, a, a couple of issues. Um, and uh, it's just you know uh, horizon fpv have sorted it all out straight away um it's just a couple of issues in that that they provide um the pigtail to to attach to the transmitter and the range extender on the aircraft um but there was a bit of a packing error and i had one um one short i should have th should have three of these long ones and i only had two but a quick email and um, it, it's it's gone out in the post to me and we'll be we'll be here today and that's that's fine. These things happen. It's as ever. It's always how you deal with them that's the important thing. So yeah, this is what you get in the kit. So what we have here, this is a this is a five point eight skew planar, I believe, is what it's called um, antenna, which goes on the aircraft. This is the corresponding. Uh, antenna that you mount to the transmitter so it's a it's a helical helical a spirally one as you can tell i'm really really into my antenna terminology um but this is you can see you can see the size of it it's tiny it doesn't it doesn't weigh very much at all this one you know if you if you were able to take the connector off it would weigh virtually nothing it's very good um and on the flip side this uh is for your range extender so a bit of industrial Velcro, other fixings are available onto the range extender. And it also comes with a very nice um, cable here. You can see it's it will stay put. So you can use that to sort of get it around. And even, which is a really nice touch, for putting inside the range extender, a little tiny little pigtail. Because obviously if you want to put one of these in, the range extender, there's not much room um where where you know this would all be wrapped around so to have that is is, is a really nice touch that can go straight on the outside and plug into here and then <coughs> you've got a 2.4 um for the aircraft side now here's what my plan is to do um subject to some advice from you guys i've already asked about this on on phantompilots.com and i'm going to ask any of you guys watching as well what I want to wait to do before I put this and this onto the aircraft side is I'm waiting for my Rotopixel gimbal because I want to see how much room that takes up and what the the, the ideal locations are going to be for, for hanging these off the aircraft. And of course, until I've got that, I don't want to actually physically attach them on. Also, I've noticed that the receiver board on the aircraft, the, the pigtails that are there for the existing antenna are kind of glued on and I'm a bit concerned about that. Um, I'm a bit concerned because I don't want to, you know, some people have damaged their receivers pulling them off. Um, so it may well be that the best thing to do is to splice these onto the existing one. And my soldering skills are non-existent. So I might wait for another solution on that, maybe give it to somebody else. But what I'm going to do in the meantime, though, I think, unless you guys tell me not to, is I might actually um, do the antenna mod and put this on the antenna, oh, sorry, the, the transmitter antenna mod and put this on. And I might actually add this to the range extender. But what I want to know is, if I leave the stock antennas on the aircraft, is doing this and this going to negatively impact the performance at the moment? If it's gonna make no difference, or it's gonna make it slightly better, but not obviously optimum, which is what these guys will do, 
great, great, I'll do it. If, it, if it's going to make it worse, I won't. Now, these are both LHCP 2.4, 5.8, which, from my understanding, matches up with, but obviously these, they're not, they're not sort of tuned to directly matching with these guys. So, nice little kit, you know, gold and silver. Uh, I, I got an early, uh, an early pre-order, so I got an upgrade onto gold on one of them. This is the silver plate. All the pigtails are really nicely made, all gold fittings, really cool. So if uh, anybody's got any uh, um, advice for me on that, please let me know. Um, and um, if, if people's sort of consensus is that, you know, it's not gonna sort of do any harm, I'm gonna do the mods and I'll do a video of, of those, not the whole thing, don't worry. I'll put, put some jump cuts in. Um, of how to go about adding these and and let you know if um, what happens and then obviously when I get my gimbal we'll maybe look at, at adding these into the aircraft as well to hopefully take things um, even further so that's that so that's from horizon FPV antennas um, I'll put a link down in the um, in the description to, to those guys and you can have a look they do a, a range of things you can buy the kit you can buy individual items go and check them out but they seem to be you know nicely made and they, uh, they were promptly delivered um, so yeah, comments, questions, leave them. And um, if you're in the UK and you're not feeling rough, then um, I hope you have a really good day's flying. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.